A lot of people will tell me that Why Him is not a Christmas movie, but it takes place on Christmas, it has a Christmas miracle, and it is a rom and dark com, so I think it is a Christmas movie. Hey guys, my name is Olive Fox, welcome to my channel, and I can barely get out a sentence without coughing, so you're gonna have to live with it, so let's talk about Why Him, one of the best Christmas movies <coughs> ever. So the story begins with Laird and Stephanie having a FaceTime call that was neither cute nor funny but I did not let that stop me from watching the movie because I did not let Superman's lipless interview stop me from watching the theoretical cut of Justice League. I mean you cannot judge a movie by its opening or its cover because honey that wallpaper. It was not it. That is not even a wallpaper. I mean who came up with the idea of making that the wallpaper? It's, it's a Christmas movie. Or, or maybe it's not, and you guys are right. Anyway, the movie revolves around Mr. Ned, whom we know as Mr. White, who has a daughter in this movie who is dating a guy that God knows my father won't let me date either. Especially because the first introduction included the bum diggy diggy bum bum. And I can show that to you guys because you two. And I know that it is James Franco's butt, but... YT does not care and they're going to demonetize my unmonetized channel. So you're just going to have to watch the movie if you're interested in seeing Jane Franco's butt. Basically, it's Ned's birthday and he decides to FaceTime his daughter, Stephanie, like you all do when it's your birthday, just like FaceTime your loved ones. So he was FaceTiming Stephanie and James comes in. Um, his name is Laird. Laird comes in and shows his butt like you do because he did, he did not know there was a FaceTime call going on. It's just like, you know, regular Tuesday, you just come in and just like show your butt. I mean, that's how he says hi. So now everyone finds out that Stephanie apparently has a boyfriend that she never mentioned. So her family did the reasonable thing that any parents would have done. They decided to go to California to meet the boy. And the second and the actual introduction went like so. The motherfucking Flemings are in the house! Hey, Barbara. Mm -hmm. oh. He kissed the mother and then followed that by saying this. And if it wasn't your MILF, she'd be a MILF. A mother I would fuck. Mm -hmm. But I won't. Okay. I mean, why do I find it funny and not offensive? We would never know. I guess we do know because throughout the movie, they made it abundantly clear how his mind works. I mean, he has a tattoo of Stephanie's name, Stephanie's face, Stephanie's family, including the dog, all on his own body. I mean, he got them a chef, got them a bowling alley, and he has a moose preserved in its own pee. Yeah, urine. I mean, uh, I think his mind races as much as, as, as mine does. So after the basic introduction, like the concerned GF she is, she has a talk with them. And like the concerned DAD he is, he has a talk with her. And he's coming on to your mother and- That's not okay. And the, the tattoo. So ultimately, BioDad and Dodd decide to give Laird a chance and they all sit down for dinner, which reminds me that I never told you guys about Goose and the little brother and the first conversation that these two brothers had. This is a 15 year old child. Oh shit. You don't say father? Heck yeah, I cut. Dicking, double dicking. Oh, okay. double. Wait, wait, hold. Yeah, back to the dinner. So they all sit down for dinner and eat edible paper because the Flemings have a publishing company and Laird's house is a paper free house. So it just all makes sense. And at that point, I thought, okay, there is some bonding going on. Okay, okay. But that was just foolish of me because, like, it's just the beginning of the movie. They cannot just make up until the end of the movie because if they make up then the movie's just gonna end and you cannot have a 15 minute movie that's that's not a movie that's a mini movie no, that's not a mini movie a short film it's a short film so to make it like two and a half hours long the arguments must go on don't get the wrong idea it was not sexual at all it was so much more than that okay i'm sorry i'm confused yeah me too scotty and this scene, in all honesty, I mean, I love this movie, but even for me, this scene was way out of line. Like, the line was friggin' over here, and Laird was over here. Are you deaf? 
why are you not just listening to her? She's, she's clearly telling you to stop and you're just continuing to talk. Or are you blind? Can't you read the room? You say you're living together? Yeah. No, we do not. Okay, five nights out of seven. It just, he just went on and on blurting one thing after another and it was not funny. It was not cute, it was not funny. It was clearly breaking the boundaries. And I do understand that you need to be honest when you're making a new relationship, especially because he was planning on proposing to um, Stephanie and did want, you know, the father to bond with him. But that's not the way. There is a time and a place to say certain things and there is a way of saying those things. I mean, that family speaks English, you speak fuck. So he just like went on and on and on and I was like, I mean, I would have probably broken up with him right there and then because like I'm sitting here telling you to, to shut your mouth and you're not doing it. It's not about the fact that he was being honest and he was like, you know, revealing all It's It's not about that. It's about the fact that I'm clearly telling you to not say something and you continue saying it. You have no right to give away my secrets. They are my secrets to tell. And even if you do have, I mean, it's just, it's wrong. We should have boundaries, man. I'm good. I, 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 Also, cute room. I don't know if you know this, but I never knew my father. Oh my God. I swear, one of these days, I'm going to have to write a book that says reasons why our character can be effed up apart from having a bad childhood. Son, half of the world had a bad childhood, but I don't see them tripping. So long story short, he tells his little story and asks Ned to join him for a walk so they can have the guy talk that usually father-in-laws want to have with their son-in-laws, but had the son-in-law wanted to have it with the father-in-law. And I don't mind, because he is a real gentleman. So the guy talk began with this. Still not the same. <laughs> You just do this Pink Panther thing? Pink, Pink Panther. Panther. Pink Panther. And end it with this. I mean, how does Ned know what a pinky swear is, but Lair doesn't know who Pink Panther is? I challenged him. Okay. I started calling him Dad. Oh, come on, Vic. Told ya. Goose is us. We are Goose. I mean, he's the most relatable character out there. So moving on, Lear threw the party that he promised he would, and he forgot to mention that freaking Elon Musk is going to be there. Michigan, you're in the car business? I uh, know, no, French no, Ned Fleming, Elon Musk. I saw him, and I was like, and it was extra creepy because recently I've been getting a lot of his interviews in YouTube Shorts, and I'm like, algorithm, I'm not even interested in getting a Tesla. Why are you recommending this? I really said that as if Elon is like giving away Teslas and he like personally decided to give me one and I refused. But like, I'm not interested in getting a Tesla. No hate though. The last thing I need is Elon going on Twitter and ranting about me. Because in one of those interviews, he said that he uses Twitter to get his mind, his feelings out there. And I was like, just get a journal, man. Or you are going to be banned from Twitter as well like they did with Donald. I don't know what he tweets. Really, I don't. I, I, I'm not a fan, man. I should be. I mean, he's, he's, he's an inspirational person. I mean, he's done stuff, but I just don't want a Tesla. Anyway, followed by Elon Musk and an Eden Hart, we got Adam Devine and a Scotty who was interested in everything he should not be interested in. I hope this is an opportune time to show a video. Boom. Oh, God. Here's another. Oh my god. And despite meeting and knowing Adam D's character, they decide now is the time to party and let go of their minor son into the claws of Adam. We're alive right now. All we do is go they really partied their heart out. I mean, who does that when you can clearly see that Leia is an octopus, 
there was Adam, there was Elon Musk on the party, and yet you decide to just let loose. They were doing shorts and boards and torts and all sorts of stuff. And let me tell you, I did not expect Mr. Ned to let his guard down. I mean, he, I, I thought of him as a parent. And as someone who has really cool parents, really chill parents, like frosty parents, even my parents would have taken me home at that point. But apparently they, they were home. But like they would have like retired to their rooms. And I actually did not remember this scene <laughs> from all the times that I had watched this movie. It was when I was re-watching it to make this video is when I first saw it. And I was like, man, everyone in this house is freaking Fleming sexual. They want the Flemings and they want them all. Not just one, they want them all. And now presenting my favorite scene. So this was the next day where everyone else was hungover and Mr. Ned, being the good guy that he is, was eating Pop-Tarts. He was literally standing there eating Pop-Tarts knowing full well that my heart also desires Pop-Tarts. Like I am Steve Trevor when it comes to Pop-Tarts and yet he stood in front of me and ate Pop-Tarts. Like the sober man he is. I mean, how are you sober? How are you not hungover, Mr. Ned? Wait, I don't think he was drunk last night. He wasn't. <laughs> he had to live through all of that. Sober. And that, ladies and gents, is why we say better... Wait, what was the code again? Always buy a bigger bottle than you think you will need. Better safe than sober. Ever since I've turned 18, the whole idea, the whole like possibility that now I can legally get drunk is like really fascinating. Even though I know that I would not drink. <laughs> um, I just... My mind's always racing, man. Like, I have 18 tabs open. Can you imagine what I will do if I go drunk? Like, I already act drunk half of the day. Imagine if I drink. Like, I think my head would burst, so <laughs> I, I never plan on drinking. And we all know how that goes. I'll never drink again. And then I drink again. Larry is spying on us. What? Do not mess with me! <laughs> you really hurt my feelings, so I bought your company. I mean, you show it in the trailer only to not show it in the movie. I mean, you, you promised to show me this and you just cut it out. Like, I'm beginning to think that the theoretical cut of Justice League and why him have the same director. So after the drill, Laird and Ned decide to go Christmas tree shopping so they can have some more bonding time together. And I will tell you, even I was impressed. It doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Wow. <sighs> Chills. Like if anyone recalls a quote word by word and remembers who said it, I'm impressed because as I just demonstrated, I cannot do it. I mean, I can remember dates, all the history dates, but I cannot remember who said a quote for the life of me. Anyway, um, long story short, um, Laird had these like rivals who tried to like steal his idea for a video game and he decides to go and steal their tree with the help of Ned because that is a real bonding experience. Come on! Give me a second. Should we call an ambulance now or wait till he loses a finger? But of course, silly us for believing that they might finally bond because it is not the end of the movie yet. So, Laird tells Ned that Stephanie wants to drop out of college in order to work for an organization for women rights and stuff that Laird is going to be financing. And of course, this bomb dropped right on Ned's head. And he reacted like this. Everybody upstairs right now, family meeting! Followed by this. What is that? I want to see. Laird's been telling me I should get a neck tat. I mean, he should be grateful. I mean, just the other day on YouTube Shorts, I saw this. Don't be alarmed, it's a little big. Yeah, I wonder if you can see all of it. Ma'am, I'm pretty sure Daredevil could see all of it. And in all honesty, the Alexander tattoo is freaking beautiful. Like, it's just so perfect. It goes all the way from the neck to the tailbone, and it's equally spaced and beautifully written. Like, out of the two, I would probably get the Alexander one. Of course, um, I, I, I like, 
I mean, I would even get Alexander. Like, I don't mind. I, I love the name Alexander. So I'd get it. Because of his influence, you get a two. Dad, I think you mean Tad. You definitely mean Tad. I just never know how kids have it in them to correct a parent in the middle of an argument. I mean, my parents would disinherit me, kick me out of the house, send me to Mars if I do that. And he just, he just, he just went with it. I mean, Ned is turning out to be a way cooler parent than my parents are. After you get hooked on drugs, you know what happens next? You what? become a hooker, oh. a prostitute, a pimp's bitch. That's what's... But I swear, even I would laugh at that. <laughs> anyway, um, Mr. White decides to put his bowling skills to the test as he brainstorms on how to end Laird. So he asks his tech friend to hack into Laird's computer while he has to witness something that no one should ever have to witness. I'm so sorry. But all was lost since he found this. Look at this, his own bank records. Man, I need a goose. Like, I literally need a goose. And I would actually consult said goose before I do this. Gentlemen, I need Dexahos Allegro now. I bought your father's company. What the fuck? So I can avoid this. <laughs> Presenting my second favorite scene. That is a lot of urine. Like, how did they even collect that? And finally, they left. Like, any person would have at that point. I mean, now that the goose, the moose, oh, the moose and the goose. Now that the moose was out, they decided to leave because you cannot co-hibernate with a moose. So anyway, after the Flemings leave, Lair decides to be the bigger person because he really, really wants to be with Stephanie and he brings her home for Christmas because he wanted the fam to be together. And you know it's not a Christmas movie unless you say this. This is the worst Christmas ever. Yeah. This is the worst Christmas ever! And then it always turns out to be the best Christmas ever! How the heck? Is this your worst Christmas? Like, have you never had to go to your worst aunt's place on Christmas Day? I tell you, that is the worst Christmas ever. And your parents would make you do it. Not once, not twice, until you literally have to scream it in their face that, honey, we do not go to aunt's house on this Christmas. It's the worst. I hate their kids. I never got your permission, and we pinky swore I wouldn't ask without it. You are remarkable. That is remarkable. I mean, he is a man-child, but I have seen worst cases, so he is remarkable. So basically after that, Chemistry Dad and Dot decided to make up, and I can't believe I called him Bio Dad before. Anyway, they made up, and Led Laird proposed, and this is how that went. Stephanie doesn't care about all the bells and whistles, you know her. God damn it, I said no go, no go. And he also did that smile. I mean, throughout the movie, obviously I was seeing that it was James Franco, but when he does that smile, it literally reminds me that he's James Franco. He's so adorable. He updated the toot. That, <laughs> that is it. Um, yeah. So that was it for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, give me a like. Also comment below and let me know all the other videos that you did. No, actually, don't let me know what kind of videos you would want to see right now. Let me know that in a, in a while because I have so many videos lined up and I cannot get rid of the sickness for the life of me. I'm like waiting to get healthy so I can record multiple videos a day because right now I can only manage one. So hopefully I will be healthy soon and I'll be recording more and hopefully that will happen before um, college starts. So yeah, I just, there's so much going on. Anyway, um, subscribe, click the notification bell. We just hit 650 subscribers, thank you so much. And also follow me on my Instagram, it's at Fox, and my edits channel is at Edits. I'll put the links to them in the description box. I'm the only on the Fox and... 
when I <laughs> when my mother got this cup for me, I literally went up to my brother and I was like, is that a horse or a zebra? No, I said, is that a horse or a donkey? And he said, that is a zebra. And I was like, man, I am really dumb. <laughs> like I literally told you guys, I cannot code a code word by word. Bye.